This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. A quick thanks to everybody who showed up to one of the Let's Talk About the News live streams last week. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I'm going to continue to work on that format. In the meantime, though, if you have any questions or comments or news items that you'd like me to answer or discuss or address in some way during one of these future live streams, drop me an email and let me know. You can reach me at colin at onesentencenews.com. In the meantime, though, let's talk about the news. From The Verge. NASA's revolutionary James Webb Space Telescope reaches final orbit in space. The James Webb Space Telescope has successfully performed its final major course correction maneuver and is now in place to start cooling down, aligning, and testing its instruments. This next phase will take several months, but this is already a remarkable story because this is one of the most complicated and high-tech tools ever created by human beings. And the process of getting it to where it is, one of five gravitational balance points called Lagrange points, this one called L2 for short, was astonishingly complex. And the team behind this effort and all their systems worked better than they could have hoped. So now we have a bogglingly powerful space telescope hovering about a million miles from Earth just a few months from beginning a multi-decade career of collecting new, super-high-resolution images of the universe. From Reuters, Yemenis struggle with internet for third day after airstrikes. Most Yemenis have gone several days without internet access following airstrikes on the coastal city of Hodaida, where much of their telecom infrastructure originates. This has caused disruption to general communication, but also financial services that rely upon such connections to function. This airstrike was just one recent attack in the much larger seven-year-long Yemeni war between an ostensibly official, internationally recognized government on the coast and an Iran-supported Houthi group to their north both sides also operating to some degree as proxies for other governments and interests in the region. That main government has announced plans to reconnect portions of the country they control using a new undersea cable, but local telecom interests have said repairs and new construction will depend on conditions in the relevant areas, and this conflict has already killed tens of thousands of people and displaced millions. So the safety and certainty they're looking for, even in relatively well-secured parts of Yemen, is anything but guaranteed right now. And from the Wall Street Journal, Burkina Faso soldiers seize power and detain president. Complaining about a lack of government support for their efforts against Islamic militant groups in the northern part of the country, Burkina Faso's military have deposed and detained the president, dissolved the government, and closed the country's borders. A seeming inability to deal with rebel militant groups was just one complaint leveled by those who planned this new coup against the now former president. Most of the others were related to his alleged corruption and failed economic policies. And he is not the only African leader to be toppled by his own country's military in recent years. This is the fifth successful military coup in West and Central Africa in the past year and a half alone. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com and you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.